tis the morning of the concrete pour. Have a couple guys coming up today. We've got one concrete truck coming. Ten yards of concrete's gonna be shot through that hole right there. Gotta get everything prepped. I'm the first one here this morning. Should be. I own the place. One final look at what will soon be covered in six inches of concrete. Got the water line moved. Got some conduits moved. Trimmed up this brick right here. Eventually this is going to go away and be replaced by a steel pole. Had to move these conduits here. Didn't quite get my distance right when I set those the first time. That's okay. Trimmed up all this area here. A little more brick trimmed up. Pulled up the old foam. Hoping today we can dump concrete in there and fill that little gap up. This is my PEX that's going to complete the loop between the two sides. So this is going to carry hot water from that coil over there under the floor and up here. Hi, Nick. Hey, Tom. You're being a creeper guy again. You're supposed to hit him. Yeah, but you know, you're farther away. And stuff. And that's a wrap guys shed house just got a little bit bigger look at this concrete what a gorgeous job these guys did I mean I helped a little bit can't say I helped didn't help a ton but don't look at that that's getting bricked up later all right so we've added I don't know, 400 more square feet to the shop. There's still work to go. Man, look at how far away that is. So much space. Got a whole extra bay right here. It's going to be so nice. 
all this room for activities. Would you look at that? So yeah, I've got this post in the way right here. That's going to get uh, pulled out. I'm going to put a jack stud in up to this beam, temporarily shore up that beam, rip this out, put a steel pole in, concrete around the base of the pole, you know. So I got a solid, solid uh, object to hit when I back a car in here rather than this little brick mess. I may or may not at some point do something similar here in this corner. There are two columns, one coming from this direction, one coming from the other direction, and they do not land at the same point. So this wall right here, if I were to take that out, I would either have to extend this beam, like remove it, which is gonna be a chore because this one ties into it right there. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do that, uh, I, we'll just forget about that for now. I may come back to this and do something, but for short term, definitely this post is going to get replaced with a steel column. This area back here, leaving it alone, not touching it for now. It's a mess. It's going to be a future room for maybe an air compressor. That's the old back door of the house. I may cut this out, put some planks down saw in there so I can just walk in here and make like a closet maybe tools put tools in there for now that'd be kind of cool make a tool closet the garage door is going in here it's gonna be 12 feet by 10 feet I already have the door the door is sitting in the back of my box truck this wall I'm gonna lay block build this back up with block and cut out this window and put a man door in I need to figure out what man door I'm gonna buy um, I got to go to Menards or Lowe's or something and figure that out. Ceiling needs insulation. Wall needs furred out. Foam board insulation and sheet metal put on it. This whole section is going to be done like that. So those are projects to come once the winter months set in. Garage door has to go in next. That's next and man door. These two projects are getting done next. Then I'm going to put insulation in the ceiling. Then I'll address the wall insulation issue and after that I'll come through and put a steel column in but I am a happy boy right now I'm very giddy I'm excited for what this place is turning into it wasn't very long ago this was a house with a floor and lots of walls and my odd weird project is finally starting to take place so well, that's it for this episode of Shed House. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more fun, amusing, weird content. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.